That's right. I'm a cheap ass bitch. It's freaking hot. Normally I don't like filming in this room because it's so dark, but I took one step into my sunroom this morning and So that was not gonna happen. Hello! So a couple things about me you might know, but might not. I hate spending money, <laughs> number two. Some of my favorite projects are recreations. And so if we take the one of those two, we get what we're gonna do this week. So the item in question that keeps popping up in my Facebook feed, it is relentless. And I'm assuming that's because they say that Facebook tracks your eyes when you're scrolling. My eyes must. <laughs> bulge to the point of abnormality. But yes, it is this dress. Any guess as to how much this dress is? That's right, 770 something dollars. I'm sure it's beautiful. The whole thing about Wolf and Badger, sustainable and ethically made clothing. It's made with fabric that was conceived and died in Cambodia. I'm sure there's a lot of crafts craftsmanship craftsmanship that went into this that makes it totally worth that price. But <laughs> I feel like there's kind of a moral gray area when it comes to recreating clothing yourself, especially if it's like a specific designer's clothing. I haven't navigated my way around that moral quandary quite yet. Light plagiarism. Light plagiarism. So what that means, you need to head to the thrift store and get a decent amount of bed sheets. I feel like cotton is probably the best option for this. Hopefully stick to the ivory slash off-white. Definitely not white. One thing I have learned this summer specifically, the white section of my wardrobe goes a bit untouched because, um, well, my pits do not know when to quit. If we can avoid that, it's also gonna be an opportunity for me to do covered but cover buttons, covered buttons, fabric buttons, these kind of things with like the loop. I've never done those before, but I looked it up briefly this morning, so I'm an expert. <laughs> Frankensteining patterns, taking the top pattern from something, the skirt pattern from something else, and making a love child. Am I stalling because I don't want to step foot outside? <laughs> I don't really even want to talk about how long it took me to get off the couch this morning. My body physically could not move. I think the only thing that really got me off my phone Let's head to the thrift store. One of my biggest motivators right now is getting a frozen drink. The girl needs something slushy and sugary. <sighs> oh my God. It's like Satan's ass crack in here. More specifically, it's like when he goes to a Red Sox game and sits on plastic chairs for six hours. We persevere. Charge me rent at this point. I'm here all the time. <laughs> Hi, can I get a medium frozen coffee? The next morning. Good morning, or good afternoon, because again, I could not get myself off the couch to film. We're gonna get started. It is absolutely disgusting outside. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 105. I can't say I, I didn't attempt to enjoy being outdoors this morning. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Migrated south today. 
it is too hot up there. And it's quite nice down here. In fact, nice enough that I can wear comfy socks, which is quite a luxury in summertime. Yeah. I am fighting all of my instincts to curl up in a small hole dug with my own hands. Is this what Lana was singing about? So, so summertime, summertime sadness. Let me show you what I got from the various stores yesterday. I got this king size sheet, very breathable, very airy. Striping that I honestly don't even know if you'll be able to tell. I just thought that was a nice little detail instead of just being one solid color. It's got tiny, tiny bit of detail. King size, so I'm not sure what that equates to in yardage, but decent amount. I probably won't be able to make this skirt as voluptuous as I usually enjoy doing, but that's okay. This was $6. I gave Joann's a hard time, but it used to be a very miserable place, but I, I suppose it just depends. Hello? These aren't for you. On who's working there, and they have a lovely staff there currently, so I take back what I say. The covered buttons, elastic cord. Hello? For the loops. The loops. I feel like I look like Milo Thatch on summer vacation today. I'm okay with it. First thing I think I'm gonna tackle is the skirt. It's easiest and um, you know, you gotta slowly build up my confidence. Do you have a skirt pattern that I drafted up? <laughs> oh, bless you. Here goes nothing. I take it back. I feel like I look like a camp counselor. <laughs> Homemade patterns. You might have seen this before, but basically I took one of my favorite dress patterns and I took one of the skirt panels, which there are like eight or 12 or something crazy like that, widened it out a little bit so that I wouldn't need as many. Ta-da! Is it just me or when it's hot out, does everything just moves at 0.75 times speed? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll stop talking about how hot it is. But listen, when something minorly inconveniences me, you're gonna hear about it. <laughs> okay, let's cut out this skirt. <laughs> The skirt portion is pretty self-explanatory. I just made sure to use all of the extra fabric that I can because I knew that it was going to be tight. And then I just pinned all of the sections together with right sides facing each other. And then you just sew it. This is really exciting content. But wait, here's a close-up. <laughs> wow. <sighs> All right, welcome to day two, or three. Ta-da. But now we work on the top, which I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous about. I, um, I'm pretty confident in the fact that between all of the patterns I own, something will work for this top. Just call me Dr. Frankenstein, but hold the torches and angry mob mentality. It's a little hard to tell where the seams are, but it looks like there's some princess seams right where the bust is. Also, I'm realizing that this dress is floor length and I did not make mine floor length. Well, shit. Let's do some scrounging. Got this one, very important. Uh, what is pattern organization? <laughs> I don't know her. This is the one that I was thinking, which I have used before. You shall do quite nicely. So now that we've got this, we can start. I will probably make this double layered so that it's not see-through. So I'll be cutting out Two, no, four of every pattern piece that I need. Let's go! This video was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Can you um, laugh when I make a joke? Or go like, ooh, when there's something really dramatic happening? Frodo, can you focus? Let's bust this baby open. Uh, 
Where are, you, where are you? Back. Okay. Front. Side back. Side front. I am using my brain. So this probably won't be exactly like the dress, but honestly, that makes me feel a little bit better about plagiarizing. It's just different enough. There's just a couple sentences that are jumbled around. The fourth grade teacher won't figure out that it's copied. I don't know why that was so specific. I never plagiarized. Never in my life. Actually, I take that back. There was this one time I wrote a whole Harry Potter book. And then at the end, I wrote a note saying, Dear JK, if you could just let me write this one instead of you. I wish I was kidding. Dear JK Rowling, I was wondering if maybe you could take a break and let me do one book. Thanks. You know, maybe she should have let me. She turned out to be kind of a butthole, huh? But Draco's face was a devilish look, but he didn't mean it. He wanted to smile at that beautiful wonder. He had to keep his reputation. I even made little illustrations at the top of these pages. Reminds me of that one TikTok audio. We got bean, number two, we got e. Number three, we got e. Number four, we got b. Number five, we got mm. All right. So since I don't actually need the peplum that this blouse comes with, I'm going to stop about here because I don't need the whole bodice. Obviously, the skirt's going to go right on top of it. So I tried it on and it was way too loose. So I fixed that by moving the pins in and having more seam allowance and it did the trick. look like much right now. <laughs> I just sewed the lining layer as well, but we'll worry about that later. Right now, it's time for sleeves. So I know I said I would probably Frankenstein that, but what I think I'm actually gonna do is just use the sleeve that came with this pattern. It's not gonna be as voluminous as I would have hoped. Bloop. Mm. I don't have enough fabric to make big big flouncy sleeves. I also am gonna have to make it so that the stripes go horizontal instead of vertical. It's not a huge deal, you can barely see the stripes anyways. So this is the pattern for the sleeve. Since I have just enough fabric, let's extend it a little bit so it will be a little longer. It is what it is when you're working with recycled material, you kind of have to make some compromises here and there. I am going to pin this once the slumbering prince decides to move on. Are you actually sleeping? He was already hitting that REM sleep. Must be nice. Freaking boys. Like Nick, once his head hits the pillow, conked. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in bed thinking about some retort I should have said to an insult in seventh grade. <sighs> That's life. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> So normally I would just fold over the top of this, but I decided to get a little fancy and made a little channel with some of the bedsheet. And then once you fold it over, there's a tube. Sentiments shared by Brits commuting to work, I'm sure. I mean, maybe. Please confirm. And then I could do the safety pin hack. So you just secure it to the elastic and then pull it through like a little slug. I then whipped up the little cuffs by making some rectangles, cutting out some interfacing, making sure I was able to fold that over, make it nice and clean, gather the sleeve, sandwiched inside the cuff, and this ended up looking a lot nicer than I actually thought it was going to. So we love accidentally looking more professional than you actually are. What a glorious morning it is. Massachusetts has ascended from the depths of hell. I'll show you what I did last night. Hemmed the skirt. I did a nice double hem. Art thou proud of me? <laughs> Today we basically just have a lot of finishing up to do, attaching everything. I'm not even quite sure what to do first, which I suppose you could classify as a minor problem. 
This is the part of the project where I get a little nervous because it comes down to actually having it fit me. All the moving pieces coming together. Let's do it. So this day is the day that I apparently forgot how to be a YouTuber and forgot about the fact that I needed to actually speak to the camera at some point during the day to produce content. I'm just gonna explain what I did this day. I need to work on my posture. So I started off by pressing my seams. Don't yell at me. Making sure I press over that top part because that will be important when we go to add the lining. And then I pinned the sleeves onto it. Not worrying too much about the ugliness of it all because that's gonna go right in between the two layers and none the wiser. No, no more than before. I don't think I used that right. It's all right. Put the lining layer on top. I don't particularly like the process of making a liner, but I will say it's quite satisfying matching it with the outer layer. Just something about matching all the edges and the shapes, it's just. Then I just stitched over those edges and now came time for the loops. So I cut out some interfacing to put on both openings just to reinforce it a little bit. Really? and then figured out where I wanted my loops to go. A good length for the loops. <laughs> loops. I had no idea what I was doing. I did not look this up beforehand. So all of this is just straight from my noggin and I cannot guarantee that this is the way you're supposed to do it. In fact, I am sure there's an easier way. And if there is, please let me know. This process was extremely frustrating. Uh, not to be dramatic, but it may be the single worst experience in my entire life and I would not wish it upon my worst enemy. <laughs> Every time you try to sew over the tiny little cord, the needle would just go right over it or if it did strike it, it would like pull up some of the rubber that was in the elastic and clog my machine. I broke a needle. I broke the sound barrier with how loud I yelled at it. I did not actually record me sewing because I was in the zone, but here is me frustratingly eating mac and cheese. Frustratedly, not frustratingly, unless it's frustrating for you to watch, which I don't blame you. So needless to say, the end result was not pretty. <laughs> Cross my fingers and hope that it did the job, which is the entirety of my sewing career. Then it was time to make the cover buttons. Let me run it down for you. You have the little washer that tells you how much fabric to cut out. You cut out said fabric. Then you take the mold put the fabric on top, the empty shell of the button, take the little pusher, push it down, fold over the fabric, then you take the back of the button and just press it in there. I don't know why that works, why it makes it secure, but it does work and it's pretty easy. Flash forward, I ended up doing about like 20, 20 something of these buttons. I don't really wanna talk about it. I feel like this isn't gonna work. I'll tell you what, this is not a dress that I will go run errands in. If I'm putting this on, I best be wearing it for 12 hours or more. All right, I mean, it's kind of working. That actually worked. By golly, huzzah. Do that whole process over for the skirt, except way longer. So I did end up sewing a little bit of interfacing, just like I did for the bodice, anchored them on one side, and then I made a little bit of bias tape, put it over the top just to hide all the ugliness. I can't say I remember this process. I might have blacked out a little. The sky was crying and so was I. I then attached the skirt to the bodice, putting the bodice upside down and then the skirt inside out on top of it. And if that confuses you, welcome to sewing. So Frodo has a little cut on his face that he won't stop scratching and reopening. We had to get creative. Frodo. Wow. The rest of the night was literally a blur of button sewing. Oh, I don't even remember how much I did. 
I'll just tell you it was enough that I'm convinced I'm gonna be that grandma in that meme. The buttons. And then the person wheeling me around is like, okay, grandma. And now it is time. I need to make this a little bit more dramatic, hold on. And now it is time. for the reveal. wrap-up time. Overall, I think it came together a lot more than I thought it was going to. Let's be honest, there's a reason that my version is only six dollars. I am quite literally the dollar store version. I can't tell if it's just the lack of me having a good strapless bra, but the bust is a little weird. The waistline is pretty wonky. <laughs> I kind of like that it looks homemade. I know that's kind of a cop-out. <laughs> I might nip in the waist just a tiny bit. The sleeves, I think, came out really good. Then the skirt is fine. It's definitely such a thin material that it kind of just falls and there isn't much volume to it, but it is really stinking comfy. For my first time doing these buttons and for how annoying they were, far from perfection. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I kind of expected a disaster, so this is very suitable for my needs. It's like little things here and there that I think I could improve on. I don't know, I'm learning, okay? I've probably said this before, but sewing actual wearable garments is so much more challenging for me than just cosplay because you actually have to make it fit you well and think about if you're wearing it out. But that's why I like to document the journey because it's a long one. I'll take my successes where I can find them. I don't ever expect perfection. That's totally okay. It's all about picking up things here and there for the next time you go sew. I don't know, it's pretty comfy. I'm happy with it. That's all I gotta say about that. It reminds me of Sarah from Labyrinth. I kind of want to make this a series because my screenshot folder is full of items that I can't muster up the courage to spend money on. That is it. I will not be uploading next week because I'm going to be working on a project throughout the week and then I need to film the reveal on the weekend. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to feel free to subscribe. I upload almost every Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Nature. Here's Johnny. So a couple things about you. No, because my body could, my, did I just mix up the word body and physically? My bodically. Dun, dun, dun. Ha. Hey, 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 we're not playing. Am I not allowed to lay down? Nope. <laughs>